let's move on to the next question in the radiology surgery integrated video section and in this next question we have a case mrs rama 42 year old female presented with jaundice the radiologist did an ultrasound which showed the image in the gallbladder as shown below the patient says she is also having pain in the right hypochondrium chills and rigors the correct statement in the management of this care are all the following except patient will need an mrcp higher antibiotics are started serum alkaline phosphorase levels will be elevated patient needs urgent cvd exploration and t tube insertion next so let's look at the ultrasound image given and try to understand what this case is all about so the ultrasound image given to you is a image which is showing the gallbladder and within the lumen of the gallbladder you can see some hyperechoic areas with posterior acoustic shadowing and you can see these hyperechoic areas on the dependent portion of the gallbladder so if you have a hyperechoic area within the lumen of the gallbladder on especially on the dependent portion having this posterior acoustic shadowing you can see this image here another image you can see this is a hyperechoic area within the lumen of the gallbladder with a classic posterior acoustic shadowing with it so when you have such posterior acoustic shadowing posterior acoustic shadowing we think it of as a calculi so this is gb calculi so this is a gallbladder calculi that we have remember shadowing is an important feature of stones remember s for s shadowing is a feature of stones or calculi let us see few more examples look at another case here here you see a very distended gallbladder this is the region of the liver on ultrasound this is the gallbladder and in the gallbladder you can see this gb wall thickening there is luminal distension and you can see at the neck of the gallbladder you can see this hyperechoic area with a classic posterior acoustic shadowing so this is also a case of gb calculi causing acute cholecystitis with gb wall thickening there will be positive sonographic murphies right so this is a gallbladder stone which has led to acute cholecystitis in this patient and another case what do you think is this image showing you here also within the lumen of the gallbladder you see a slightly hyperechoic area but do you see a classic shadow with it no so this is how you have your gb polyps so when you don't have the classic posterior acoustic shadowing this is a gb polyp this is a soft tissue area projecting into the lumen of the gallbladder without any posterior acoustic shadowing and look at this image on the ultrasound what do you see here here also i hope you can identify the liver the gallbladder and within the gallbladder also you can see some hyperechoic areas but do you see a posterior acoustic shadowing behind these hyperechoic areas if you observe carefully no no you do not see any posterior acoustic shadowing but instead you see this comet tail artifacts comet tail artifacts and where do you see such comet tail artifacts such comet tail artifacts are feature of gallbladder adenomyomatosis gallbladder adenomyomatosis and you can see that hyperechoic areas are not on the dependent part also they are on the non dependent part we have this rokitansky sashkov sinuses which have the cholesterol crystals within which give this comet tail like artifacts this is gallbladder adenomyomatosis showing that comet tail artifacts on ultrasound so this is what a comet tail is the shooting star a similar appearance of comet tail artifacts so it is not a shadow so right pl please differentiate we saw the dark shadow that you see with calculi and here you are seeing some hyperechoic areas with comet tail artifacts this is gb adenomyomatosis and what are these images here here these are a coronal mrcp image given to you and this is an axial mrcp image and within the gallbladder you see some filling defect suggest you of a gb calculi and also within the cbd you can see this filling defects that are nothing but cholecystitis the cbd stones that you are seeing here on axial section also you see a dilated cbd and a filling defect within suggest you of a cbd stone and another good image here on mrcp these filling defects that you can see these are suggestive of cholecystitis so let's come back to the question the image that was given to us was this image showing just gb calculi with a hyperechoic area within the lumen of the gallbladder with posterior acoustic shadowing let's understand the case better and the management with rajamendran sir next we are moving on to know what is this this is actually this is a patient coming to you with a gallstone with jaundice you you are going to see one important triad scene in this picture jaundice pain chills and rigors what is this triad known as this is known as chart cut triad so please understand this is chart cut triad chart cut triad is a very dangerous problem in patients with cbd stone 
there will be pain plus jaundice plus fever with the chills and rigors. So this is a three points which will be seen in a case of cholangitis. A cholangitis is a surgical emergency. Please remember it's a surgical emergency. The mortality will be very high if shock and mental status changes add up with the charcot said that is known as Reynolds pentad. If it comes, the mortality will be more than 30% in such cases. So it is a surgical emergency. So I have to confirm it is a CBD stone only because ultrasound may not sometime pick up the CBD stone. It can only show dilated radicals. So I have to go for a MRCP now. So MRCP will show you the stones in the bile duct. And it forms a road map for our further planning. So it will show whether it is a stone or cancer. So MRCP is the investigation of choice to study the bile duct. So now we have done an MRCP that is showing stones. So whatever it is, the moment I see such cholangitis patient, I should start third generation cephalosporins and piperacillin tasobactam. Higher antibiotics are started the moment I receive such patients. So after starting antibiotics, I should call the medical gastroenterologist to come and do a procedure that is very, very essential and emergency at this point of time with the side viewing scopy, they will go inside, do a sphincterotomy and remove the stones known as ERCP, sphincterotomy, stone removal and stenting should be done. Then only we can save the patient from cholangitis. So this is the first important step after MRCP, we have to go for a ERCP investigation. So by sometimes what happens, the ERCP may not be possible or may not be feasible in some cases. So such cases with the cholangitis, what is the next step after ERCP is not possible. So in such cases, again, we get the help of radiologist. We have to call the help of radiologist. We need to drain the infected bile because it is full of pus. So I will call the radiologist to come and put a stent inside the bile duct of the liver known as percutaneous transhepatic biliary drainage. This is the second step in a case of cholangitis patient. Not possible to do a ERCP or a failed ERCP cases. We have to do a PTBD. So we have to drain the infected bile outside. So once the patient becomes stable, we go for a surgical approach. PTBD is also not possible. Then you have to call a surgeon. So that is a third step. The third step in the management of cholangitis is to call a surgeon. And we, what we do as a surgeon, what we do in this cholangitis case is we open the bile duct vertically like this, remove the stone out and I will keep a T-tube inside the bile duct and come out. So I should keep a T-tube to drain the bile and come out. But the risk of this surgery is very high. Mortality is very high in a surgical procedure. That is why we should go for a minimally invasive procedures like PTBD or ERCP in a cholangitis case. Let me show you the images of those steps. So you can see this is an image showing you ERCP. How to differentiate ERCP from MRCP? You can see MRCP, the bile acts as a contrast. There is no image of endoscopy. In a ERCP, you can see the image of endoscopy. This is a basic foreign medical graduate level question which is asked already in a FMG exam. So please don't forget this is endoscopy shown in the image showing normal ERCP. So let me show you the procedure done for this case. Now this is a patient with a stone. We are doing a ERCP in this video. You can see the ERCP being done. So we are cutting the sphincter of OD at one o'clock position, we are cutting the sphincter of OD and the moment I cut the sphincter of OD, you can see the stones will come out from the CBD and the jaundice will start getting relieved. So we are cutting the sphincter of OD now. You can see the stones are all coming. We have to use a balloon clearance to remove all the stones and you can see all the stones are being removed from the common bile duct. And after removing the stones, we have to put a stent inside the bile duct. This is a commonly done procedure for a patient with CBD stone. By chance, if CBD is not possible, we have to call the radiologist under ultrasound guidance. You can see they have put a PTBD into the intrahepatic bile duct. So the bile is going to drain retrograde outside the abdomen. So the patient will recover from cholangitis. If this is also not possible, then only we do the surgical CBD exploration and keeping of a T-tube. This is a picture showing you T-tube cholangiogram done on 7th post-op day. So we are not going to discussion of that further. So now let us come back to the question. What is there in the question? So patient with this cholangitis will need an MRCP next is true answer. Higher antibiotics are needed is true. 
Serum alkaline phosphatase is elevated in any obstructive jaundice. The question serum alkaline phosphatase is mentioned to make you understand it is an obstructive jaundice, not a medical jaundice. That is the reason we have added serum alkaline phosphatase. It is elevated, it's true. It is an obstructive jaundice. So, MRCP will be the best to look for an obstructive jaundice. And patient needs urgent CBD exploration and T tube insertion next is wrong. Patient will need ERCP, sphincterotomy, and stenting inside. That is the next step. D. So, D is the wrong answer here in this question. So, it is a classical integrated question on surgery and radiology. Hope we will be coming up with more questions. Thank you.